Hello YouTube, and this is my review of the GTEC A10. Now, before we get into this review too much, this is not going to be your all singing, all dancing review where you see wonderful things that I've printed and nine foot tall pictures and stuff like that. This is just grassroots, bang for buck, what I think of this machine. Is it a good printer? Absolutely. You can see up there, got it printing at the moment, it's just doing a vase at the moment, just so you can see it working. Yes, I've modded it already. You know what I'm like, couldn't stop myself. Decided I wanted to change the fang setup, so that's a pet fang 2 that I've got set up there. Working beautifully, doing a really nice job, um, because I do like to fiddle. But all the prints that I'm going to show you now are printed bog standard machine. Uh, like I say, nothing amazing. Little vase, that's uh, Matahaka's light blue PLA I printed there, so it prints PLA, not a problem. Can it print Pet G, we ask ourselves? Well, we'll move that one out of the way. There's a vase printed in Pet G. Yeah, it can print in Pet G. What's it like doing benches, I hear you ask? Yeah, it does benches. No problem at all, even these clever showboaty ones. Not a problem. Marble Effect PLA. Can it print? Absolutely. Fine. No problem. Some more Pet G. Fan Shroud, that is for my CR10. Can it print it? No problem. Can it print ABS? Not on my machine. That's possibly more to do with me and my settings but trying to print abs without an enclosure you're going to get edges lifting warping you cannot expect that kind of um print to work on a machine like that straight out of the box temperature wise yeah it'll hit the temperatures 24 volts is going to do the job but you need an enclosure um i know people out there have proved they can print without one but it's not something i would do i've tried in the past um i've tried on my end of threes i've tried on the cr10 really without an enclosure the chances of getting a print to work without lifting is small so abs probably if you bang an enclosure around it but then you've got the problems of the heat around the control box and everything else so not going there but everything else I've thrown at it, it's printed. And the most important thing about it is it's printed consistently. I've not had one good print and then a load of terrible prints. Once I've got it dialed in, it just works. It's reliable. The print that's printing up there at the moment, I thought to myself, I need to get show a picture of it printing while I'm here. So I chuck some filament in it. In fact, that filament's been on it on and off since the day I got it because it came with it. Chuck the filament on it, stuck a, a pre-sliced model of a vase, which is, I haven't got another one around here to show you, but you've seen the vase I print before, it's sort of spirally thing. Um, banged it on. I've not leveled the bed at all. Um, in about four or five days, just banged it on. And I've got to tell you, I can see from here that is printing beautifully. Just, but that's what you want. A machine like this, a price point like this, what I would call a beginner's machine, you want something that will just print. And that is what this is doing. It is just printing. No issues, no worries. Has it got auto bed leveling? No. Can it do auto bed leveling? Yes. Because they've released the firmware for it and it's on Marlin. It's all there. You can look at it online. You can go to their GitHub. You can see everything is in place. If you want to stick an ABL system on it, you can do. Will I in the future? Probably because that's the kind of thing I do. Does it need it? No. Without a shadow of a doubt, with a build platform of this size, it's not a necessity. And certainly the way this has been printing constantly four days without having to re-level the bed i don't see that it's needed by all means put one on no problem at all with that like i say i will probably put one on myself but do i think it needs it 
No, with a build plate of this size, I think it's easy enough, even with the very small knobs that it comes with, which I'm sure some people say, oh, you need to make the knobs bigger to level the bed. The bigger the knob, <laughs> the bigger the knob is for leveling the bed, the more you have to turn it. I can do tiny weeny little tweaks on those small, small little knobs there, and it works beautifully. No problem. The build surface. The build surface is fantastic. I've said on the, the live build, I've said to people in chat, Facebook groups, it reminds me of an oven door. It's that same sort of finish. But does stuff stick to it? Absolutely. Do you need anything on the bed to make it stick? Absolutely not. It just works. I don't quite understand the technology behind it, but I, have, I believe when it heats up, the little black... Um, shapes expand ever so slightly so when you're printing you've got the holding it in place on those little shapes as the plate cools I believe they contract slightly which loosen their grip on the, the print and you can just lift the print off but whatever the technology is behind it it works does it need a flexible build plate no because once it cools the stuff just comes off pet G anything just lifts off beautifully clean beautifully done go back to my live build did I have any issues in my live build yes as I'm sure you're all aware I had the the fact that the two screws that hold the control panel in place weren't the holes in the extrusion weren't tapped now not a major problem uh, it's a bit of quality control they need to iron out I get it uh, I could have gone running off and got a tap and die set I've got somewhere else tapped those holes off, screwed those bolts in, but I didn't. I pratted about, I, I went overboard, I used two or three nuts to turn it, to tap it out, got the screws in, it works. That was the only issue I had, apart from the power lead, wasn't a UK power lead. Now this is possibly because I got a machine direct from the factory, which was very, very kindly sent to me by GTEC. No charge to myself, apart from import duties, um, which I actually got a letter for the other day, which was a, it wasn't a surprise because I was expecting it, but I was actually expecting to pay it before the machine arrived, and it wasn't until the machine arrived that I got the bill, but it's fine. You know, they've reached out to me as a very small YouTuber. I mean, I've got 2,600 subscribers. I'm not a big cheese in any way, shape, or form, but they reached out to me, and they said, have a look at it, see what you think. I've run it for a few weeks now. I've chucked all sorts of stuff at it. I could show you print upon print upon print of what I've done. But it's not important. Take my word for it. It works. It prints. It prints consistently well. Everybody said to me, Oh, is it an Ender 3 beta? You know, is it an Ender 3 killer? It's, it's a slightly different machine. It hasn't got... A filament run out sensor mind you ender 3 doesn't come with one but soon put one on wouldn't be an issue you could do it you could do it on this i'm sure it's possible you can get a third party one that you can get to fit has it got abl on it no it hasn't but you can put it on has it got power recovery power loss recovery no it hasn't but do you want it all the issues with the SD cards. Is it a necessity to you? If it is a necessity to you, you can go out and buy an Airy One. I've given doing the giveaway for the the Airy One Resumer. You can just plug that in. That works with it. I've tried it. Works perfectly well. If you want that sort of functionality, the power loss functionality, you can get it. But whether you need it or not, for the amount of times you're going to lose power. I don't know but at the price it is it's not it's in the same ballpark as an ender 3 it's not quite as cheap as an ender 3 but as a machine it's absolutely fine I have no problems with it at all I've I've changed the fan out because that's the kind of person I am I have a personal a personal bugbear of fans on machines that are just one side because you are going to get uneven cooling. And if you haven't got your machine set up absolutely perfectly, that uneven cooling will show. Which is why I go for pet fangs, 
or anything that flows the air all the way around the object while it's printing then it cools evenly and it means I can be less accurate with my settings and get away with it maybe it's laziness on my part it's entirely possible but you know that's just a personal thing that's the only reason why that's on there it's not solving an issue it is just what it is so for a machine for the price point rock solid construction absolutely no issues with anything dropping off not working is it the quietest machine on the market no the noisiest fan i think on it probably is the fan on the control box but it's the same with the enders it's the same with the cr10s it's the same with most machines those fans are noisy because they're built to a budget so the fans aren't the most expensive fans out there can you go out and buy a 24 volt fan and fit it no problem at all you want to do that you want to quieten the machine down fantastic you want to put on stepper driver dampers do that quieten the stepper drivers but in fairness the stepper drivers on this machine aren't that noisy at least they don't appear to be that noisy because i can't hear them over the top of the fan in the control box but as a machine it's absolutely fine but the point i want to make the most important point about this machine apart from the fact it's rock solid it works it prints if you had in this hand an ender 3 if you had in this hand a gtec a10 and i was which should i buy although i have two ender 3s and i love them to bits that would be my machine of choice and the reason and the one reason only that will be my machine of choice out of the two they both have their plus points and their bad points but the reason why i would pick that machine is gtech it's the fact that if you have a problem if you have an issue they are approachable they are there they are on facebook they are on twitter you can contact them they answer your questions they try to help they are an approachable company if you have a problem and an issue they will do their best to solve it for you they don't always manage there is some issues with trying the, the language differences between countries understandable you know you've got to think this is a, a worldwide thing and not everybody speaks english not everybody speaks chinese or french or german or dutch or swedish or italian so that there are going to be some communication issues but they're there they are active they are happy to talk to you they are trying very hard to support their machines creality they are improving ever so slightly but you go to them with a faulty part chances of getting them to send you one very small you go to them with an issue we don't know we can't help creality i'm i'm not going to bat on about it but they need to pull their finger out and pull try and get to where gtech is because gtech are there gtech answer questions they help they do their very best they don't always manage there are situations where machines just aren't going to work sometimes it's down to the end user sometimes it's down to quality control these things happen but so so far and away above any other chinese manufacturer for actual being there in social media being there at the end of a, a keyboard go on facebook talk to them they reply they help they do what they can you need a part they send it out no question of cost no question at all it is just sent to you and that is why between an end of three which don't get me wrong good machine love it have to you know i've done the series on bits and pieces of them love them to bits but because of the way gtech are and because of their work ethic they win as far as i'm concerned not that it's a competition but given that the choice of the two because of the backup that you get a10 definitely a10 that's about it i haven't got a lot more to say about it it's it's a thing they're all out there they're all the same they're all pretty much standard machines they're all based on the same thing they're all built in the same way they're all trying to come in at the same price point and some 
cut corners on in some ways and some cut corners in others and basically whichever your machine you get it's going to work but thanks to GTEC and the way that they are and their worth work ethic it's a thumbs up from me for the A10 just on a side note I have been speaking to Tim Hoogland today and I believe that the unified firmware now supports the GTEC A10. They've been working on it over the last few days and I believe they are literally just polishing the finer points of it now and if you want to be able to flash your A10 with the unified firmware no problem it's going to be out there matter of days in fact I'm speaking to him this afternoon today is Tuesday the 21st speaking to him this afternoon it is finished he is just basically polishing it up a little and then it'll be out so if you want to flash that firmware no problem at all but the standard firmware works absolutely fine there's as a standard there's actually quite a lot more in the menu than you get on other machines but you don't need to fiddle you don't need to mess about with stuff you just crank it up and let it go and it prints that's all i've got to say I'm sorry that i've rambled on a bit but it's just important to me to get it out there my feelings thank you so much for watching thank you to gtech for sending the machine like i say i haven't been paid for this review i have been sent the machine free of charge for review i have paid the tax and the import duties to get it into this country that is all i am allowed to keep the machine now i do not have to send it back but i have not been paid i have not been asked to say anything specific in the review at all it has been entirely up to me what i've said and i've been plain and simple and to the point minus points a little bit of build quality that's about it plus points gtech support thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe click the little bell then you'll know the next time i put a video out you can support me on patreon or through streamlabs don't forget there's a giveaway going on at the moment there's some more giveaways possibly lined up for the future just take care enjoy 3d printing and we'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching Bye bye